guys, welcome back. It's Undertale. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess be super happy if you really didn't like Skyblock yesterday. Uh, it's been a week since I last recorded. I have new glasses. <laughs> I don't know if I had my new glasses in the in the last recording. I'm pretty sure I didn't have my new glasses in the last recording. I think I might have had them in Skyblock though. I'm not sure. But regardless, I have new glasses. Um. Also, my knuckles are killing me right now. I've been playing guitar for several hours. But I needed to play guitar for several hours to get, like, the whole, you know, I wait how long before I record. Because, you know, it's so easy to copy people's jokes nowadays that, like, you know, you just, I just wait a couple hours before I start recording. Like, I stop watching stuff and then I don't watch anything for a couple hours. So I don't steal people's jokes, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna go in the lab. There's gonna be a really. Oh, that's not a spotlight. That's a camera. Well, can't go that way. It's you. All right. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see anything. Darn it! We can't even look at this neat computer. There's a little guy there. It's too dark to look at the fridge. It's too dark to look at that bag of dog food. Oh. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello, friend. Oh, thank you. You've turned on the lights. Hi. Oh, they're surprised to see me. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Mm. Hang on, I gotta come up with a voice for this person. They look super nerdy. So I guess I'll just talk in my normal tone of voice. But wait, no, they had like a bleepy bloopy voice in the, in the text synth. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy and... Um... Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist. Well, you seem neat. This music reminds me of Splatoon. A little bit. Like... If Splatoon were to get, like, an 8-bit port, which wouldn't surprise me, actually. Like, it's just re Like, oh, the Splatoon story mode, that's what it reminds me of, not, like, the actual music. But my guy, not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Oh? Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. You're not wrong. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Yeah. I know, only wreck to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, that'd be super nice of you. I'm gonna turn down the volume one way, that's a little loud. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. I've heard a lot about this from the Undertale fan group. You hear a lot about Metaton, the robot with the long legs. That's all I know about him. It, it's a robot. It. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. Oh, it's a him. Duly noted. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti anti human combat printers. Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided that I, I have to remove those features. Now, unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with thirst for you. <coughs> oh jeez. Hang on, I need to get a drink of water. I'm mostly not dead, I promise. I may be slightly sick. I mean, my throat feels like I'm slightly sick, and that noise I just made didn't help.
<laughs> yeah, my entire mouth tastes like dust. Well, actually, my mouth tastes more like salt. But my, it feels like my just everything is dusty. Even though I am not dusty at all. the right voice. Hopefully we won't run into him. Okay. Go! Oh! It's not a good sound. It's not a good sound. It's definitely not a good sound. I did hear some stomping. I don't like that. I don't like that. It sounds like somebody's stomping on an anvil. Oh, oh no. Duh. Sounds like a dot matrix printer. Beep boop. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. <clears throat> to today's quiz show. That's an M for Metaton, isn't it? Game show. Oh boy, I cannot. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Ever played before, Gorgeous? Yeah, no. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Question one. Or you... Or you die. Metaton attacks and... Dear Lord. Okay. Story time while I fiddle we diddle. Um uh, yes, let's cry, firstly. <laughs> cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions? Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Okay. Story time. I think I can talk and do this. Um, cry. Screaming is still against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name as for a dreamer? I just completely guessed. <laughs> the quiz show continues. Okay, story time. Story time, story time. I'm gonna pause for <laughs> two. Uh, and story time. Um, so, I follow a guy on YouTube. Names like Mr. Solid Snake, and then there's some numbers or something, I don't know. But, uh, basically, what he's done is he's rigged up a set of six floppy drives and two stepper motors. Two, uh, I think, I think just the floppy drives are on their one dedicated Arduino board, and then the stepper motors are on their own, own little thing. And basically, he uses floppy drives as a six-channel MIDI speaker. Now, for those of you who aren't absurdly nerdy like I am, what that means is he makes the floppy drives move in such a way that they produce notes and music. Now, if you can imagine what that sounds like, <laughs> you know immediately why I'm like, this song needs to happen. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255, that's almost an integer overflow. His metal body renders him inv invul <gasps> invulnerable to attack. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, metal with magic? Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues, I like this. It requires none of me being good at the game. Metaton, we already know this. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, straight A, trade B specific. Oh my. It's both. I No! Okay, basically that was a long math problem and I had not. 
I have not done that kind of math in a long time. <laughs> if you were actually watching the screen, you could see me like glaze over as I'm like, uh. Let's cry. Screaming is against the rules. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? I'm going to guess 52. That's wrong! The quiz show continues. Uh, well, we're gonna eat a bicycle. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? That's Froggy. No! Oh, yeah. A ghost? <laughs> yeah. Great answer. Great answer. I love it. No wonder he has such bad questions. He's a printer. Printers are demons from hell. Screaming is against the rules. Here's a simple one. How many... The name of the No, 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 no. Can't you read? Oh, I could've just... I am a genius. I could have just waited for those freaking letters to hit him. Five bucks. Five bucks is what you gotta do. Time to break out the big guns. The dating simulation video game you knew was What is Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, and I don't know this one! This is snail ice cream! She buys ice cream for all my friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of the favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and. Yeah. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our. Darn it! 
I am going to grab a bo my bottle of Soylent to show you all, though. I... I don't have a pre-made bottle of Soylent because I'm a smart person. <sighs> okay. No, I'm going to save the Soylent story for a different, different game, different time. I will save the Soylent story. Take a package of noodles? Sure, I'll take a package of instant noodles. You got the instant noodles. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. I can hear the internet screaming. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Why'd you ruin a perfectly good teacup with soda? It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Wait a minute. Metaton looked like the little doobly doo puzzle thing that we walked by in Snowden. It's a computer. We already read about the computer. Seems the notes seem like the notes to something, but it's written in all chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or that sounds familiar. A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. Is it a pink sparkles? I no. I wanted to look at the giant piles of bowls. It's a video feed of your location. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Yeah, sure, I'll read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Well, you're not wrong. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. Is, like, anime considered human history here or something? Because I get the sense that there was something anime going on down there with that cat ears thing. All these books are labeled human history. I'll read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. Pardon me? What strange part of the internet have I stumbled into? This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Um, I appear to have stumbled into a strange part of the internet I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> All these books are labeled human history. Yeah, I'll read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with it, with toast in its mouth. Are you sure that's supposed to be an android doing that? Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. What is this? There is a large Neko girl on the wall. Pink goo drips from drips. 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 That was definitely a word. Drips. From this strange machine. I love when I can speak English. Pink goo drips. Looks like Alphys has worked him. Seems dusty. Has Alphys been like cowering in terror of his creation? Is her creation? I don't know. Alphys seems like a male name. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. They did mention that Alphys is a girl because Medicine said she. I love it when I pay attention, it's my favorite. But anyway, regardless, there are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo, they're all unopened. You don't like talking to people, do you, Alvis? Don't worry, neither do I. It's a lamp with pink fish on a lampshade. There's no light bulb. This looks 
the Nepnese logo? Like, I know the Nepnese logo is just a nondescript cube, but... Are you, are you making reference to, this, to the fact that this may be running in Java? <laughs> oh, like, now that I think about it, Nepnese works as an IDE for C++ as well. Speaking of, I should really get to work on this work. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy <laughs> to draw box. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, kids. You don't have to learn to draw beds. You don't have to learn to draw anything. Just say you learn to build a packager that makes everything into easy draw boxes. Beautiful. There's a flying heart. It kind of reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. It's a promo poster for Medicine's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. You sure I did? Let's ride, like, we gotta ride this conveyor belt, damn boy, because there's so much fun. Here we go. New. New. Okay, let's, I guess, I guess that's, we've exhausted the potential for this area. What's this sign? It's a bathroom sign. Okay. Well, that's the only thing... Well, guess we're going this way. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. VV. Are you sure there'd be a VV that'd be more of an AA to me, you know? It'd be like, oh, why didn't I do that? Rather than, uh, why didn't I do that? Alpha's updated their status. Well, I know she's unbeatable, unbeatable, but I'll ask her about it later. Yeah. That's the only noise that can apply to that. No, no, this is my life now. For now, I gotta call out the human and guide them. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, there's some real fancy flames there, bud. Dude, these, oh, that music. Can I hear? Vulcan strolls in. Uh... Hug him. You give Vulcan a hug, it warms your heart and your whole body. Ow! Defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Okay, um, sir, can we not play asteroids today? Could you? Could you? I'm greatly appreciated. Not doing that. Spare. Later, man. Forty gold, dude. Oh, let's just lean back and enjoy this. Oh. Uh, Let's lean back and hit everything in the way. Let's lean back and enjoy this music. Oh, man, there's nothing like good game music. Oh, this is great. Alphys updated their status. Gonna call him in a minute. Yeah. It's one of these conveyor puzzles, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just... Oh, it is, it is, it isn't a puzzle. It just you go squeaky, that's cool. I don't know. I think I think that's actually a good enough, you know, time for a save point. And therefore the end of the episode. So I guess that's the episode, guys. Let's uh let's let's take in this music a little bit. So this was a good episode. This was a very productive episode. We actually got something done rather than just being like, I am bad at game. I talk funny. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Well, uh, oh, by the way, for those of you who listened last Thursday to the radio show, welcome. <laughs> Ooh, like, I'd rather welcome to the radio show group. And, like, thank you very much for listening and please listen more. I swear it's not always the best. fighting music mostly but anyway uh, tune in this time next week for more undertale and later this week for uh, i'm not sure actually you know what i'm just gonna do another episode mm, yeah i'm gonna do another episode of skywalk later this week and then next week we'll just continue with the undertale as per the norm thanks for watching everybody and uh later man <laughs>